Look at that right there. Look how beautiful that is. We hit 50k. Let's go. Okay, look. I've already got like a million comments saying, Face reveal, face reveal. You said 50k face reveal. Send me a picture of your face right now. It's coming. I promise, okay? I just did not expect you guys to get me to 50k this fast. I mean, I'm not complaining. There's just a couple of things I need to get sorted out before I do a face reveal. Like, come on, boys. I gotta look cute for you. You know what I mean? I'm sorry. I'm so sus. I don't know what's wrong with me. So the face reveal is coming. I promise. But with that out of the way, let's get into the actual story today. So listen, I've had a lot of weird substitutes in my life. Like I've had just the absolute weirdest people substitute for me in my classes. I had this one sub that literally thought he was Harry Potter and brought a wand to school and took a five minute break in the middle of class to walk outside and hug a tree. I had this other sub that was basically Indiana Jones. Well, Indiana Jones minus like all the cool stuff. Basically Indiana Jones, the archaeologist. Like this sub would literally come to school with the satchel, the hat, and I swear to God, he might've even had a whip. But out of all the weird subs, I had nothing compared to this one guy like so much happened with this guy I didn't even know what to title this video I could have titled it so many things emailing Logan Paul my sub did coke my sub was a rapper there was hundreds of options so I met this sub my sophomore year of high school and he was the sub for my English class now my actual English teacher in the first semester got pregnant so in the second semester she was gonna have to take a maternity leave so the second semester we were supposed to have like a long-term sub that was basically supposed to teach us for the entire second semester now the first substitute teacher that we got wasn't the weird guy that I'm talking about. This was a different sub. Now, let's call this guy Mr. Ryan. Mr. Ryan was an absolute asshole. He would literally call us stupid, losers, idiots all the time. Like, on a daily basis he would call us these things. And it's like, bro, you're a substitute teacher. The only loser in this class is you. But Mr. Ryan also had a serious anger problem. And one day he was, like, really on edge and he was, like, talking to our class when he noticed that there was this one girl texting on her phone. And Mr. Ryan just snapped. He went up to her her, grabbed her phone, slammed it on her desk, and then pushed it off the desk. And I remember watching that phone fall to the floor and thinking, this man is gonna get fired in the next five seconds. The high school I went to, if a teacher barely even touched a girl on the shoulder or some shit like that, they were immediately thrown in the back of a cop car, taken to a courtroom, and immediately tried and convicted of rape. If you did anything remotely controversial in my school, they would immediately take you to the quad, tie you to a stake, and tar and feather you. And as I thought, Mr. Ryan was fired that same day. And because because my school just fired Mr. Ryan, my school is now in a very sticky situation. My original English teacher is giving birth, and the long-term sub just got fired. So they needed to find a new long-term sub that was able to come to school the next day. How the fuck is my school gonna find someone in only a couple hours that will be willing to teach a random class for an entire semester? And I mean, my school must have been begging homeless people off of the streets, because that's what we ended up getting. And so I walk into the class the next day, and I see the new sub, and his name is Mr. Brand. Mr. Brand Brand smelled like dry piss, looked like a fucking alien, and was tweaking the fuck out. Like, I seriously would not be surprised if my school got a van, went to downtown LA in Skid Row, found a random homeless person, kidnapped them, put them in the van, and said, you're gonna teach a 10th grade English class. I mean, this substitute looked and smelled like Gollum from Lord of the Rings. And the first thing Mr. Brand does as soon as the bell rings is go to the computer, plays a beat, comes back to the middle of the class, and starts rapping. Like, I'm talking a fully rehearsed rap that he had memorized. Now, you may be asking, I wonder what Mr. Brand said in this rap. He talked about doing coke, sleeping with women and men, being homeless, and basically his entire life story. I want all of you to imagine right now, Gollum from Lord of the Rings rapping to a group of sophomores in high school while he smells like dry piss. And as soon as he finishes rapping, one of my friends looks at me and goes, that was fire, bro. Did you just listen to what I listened to? Did you just listen to the part where he said he did cocaine? And immediately, right after finishing rapping, he went right back to his computer, played another beat, and started rapping again. He did this for the entire rest of the class until there was like five minutes left. And literally mid-rap, he noticed some kid eating like a granola bar. He immediately stopped rapping, stopped the beat, and looked at the kid and was like, What you eating? And the kid was like, Uh, a granola bar? You want some? And then Mr. Brand looked at this kid and was like, Oh, no, no, no. I don't eat food. I'm sorry, what? What the fuck do you mean you don't eat food? He already looked like an alien, but now I started to actually believe he was really an alien. And he goes, yeah, I haven't ate food in three years. It's overrated. I only drink. So how this guy survived was he would drink like these protein drinks like three times a day that smelled like someone vomited into a bottle and then closed it and sold it. He would not eat anything. He would literally just drink these protein drinks. Are you starting to understand how fucking weird this guy is? And so like after two weeks of being in this guy's class, I kind of figured him 
him out. His personality buried off of the drugs he did right before he came into that classroom. Okay, let me explain. Okay, Monday was definitely like coke day. Mr. Brand would come into class and immediately be like, everyone think how we can end world hunger. I want everyone to get up, do 10 jumping jacks, and then write the cure for cancer on the whiteboard. I mean, every Monday, this man had an unlimited supply of energy. Now, every day besides Monday was the complete opposite. This guy would either do weed before coming into class or possibly heroin. We would come into class, the bell would ring, and like 10 minutes later, this guy would finally say something while he looked like he was about to collapse on the floor and just die. And he'd be like, okay, class, it's gonna be a free day today. I mean, those days, he had no idea where he was. He probably thought he was on Mars or some shit fighting aliens. And so one of the Mondays or Coke days, I ended up not coming to school. And you know, at the time, I didn't really think I was gonna miss anything in the class because usually, Mr. Brand would want us to try and solve the cure for cancer on those days. And so I came to school the next day thinking, yeah, I definitely didn't miss anything the day before. Well, I was wrong. I walk into class on Tuesday, and the first thing I see are all of my friends in the class mass-producing t-shirts. I'm talking like a fucking assembly line. There was a design station, a coloring station, a drying station, and I'm confused as fuck wondering what the fuck is going on. And so I go up to one of my friends and I'm like, um, what is happening right now? And I will never forget what my friend said next. My friend looks at me and goes, oh, we're making shirts for Logan Paul. What did this guy just say? Did I just hear that right? What the fuck? fuck is going on? And I'm like, what are you talking about, bro? Why are we making shirts for Logan Paul? This is an English class. And my friend looks at me and goes, oh, we're making these shirts so we can go to Japan with Logan Paul. Now, I know this is making no sense to you guys, but I needed you guys to feel how I felt. So let me explain now. So if you guys remember, this was happening at the same time Logan Paul did that vlog in Japan. You know, the one where he showed a dead person in the YouTube video. So I guess Mr. Brand showed up that Monday coked out of his mind and was like, we're gonna get Logan Paul's attention by saying we'll go to Japan with him so that we can help him understand the culture of the Japanese people. Okay, listen. A lot of things are wrong with that statement. Number one, why do we know anything about Japanese culture? Number two, why would Logan Paul care? Number three, why are we making t-shirts? Supposedly, you're supposed to make a t-shirt for every single person in the class that said, bring us to Japan, Logan, and then take a picture with all those t-shirts and then email Logan Paul that picture. Let's just stop for a second. Could you imagine being Logan Paul? Everyone already hates you. Your channel might get deleted. And then you go on your phone and check your emails. And you see a picture of like 30 sophomores in high school wearing a shirt that says, Bring us to Japan, Logan. That's rock bottom right there. And listen, I know some of you guys are watching this video like, Oh my god, this is obviously so fake. This would never happen in real life. Listen, I don't even know if I'm creative enough to come up with a story like this. Like seriously, I don't know if I can possibly possibly make this shit up unless I was on like heroin or some shit and so I decide fuck it I'll help these guys make the shirts and so I go over to pick up one of the plain white t-shirts that we had and as soon as I got like five feet from the shirt I could literally smell the vomit piss and shit steaming off of this shirt like I straight up gagged it was so bad and I look at my friends and I'm like why does it smell like this and my friends like oh yeah they all smell like that these shirts smelled like they were put in a washing machine but instead of using soap and water it used vomit and piss. I seriously to this day believe that Mr. Brand got these shirts by mugging homeless people for them. And so the assembly line of Logan Paul t-shirts began. And then it came to a screeching halt because Mr. Brand ended up getting fired. See, Mr. Brand was on a little too much drugs one day when he ended up going around the entire school at lunch, standing on tables and passing out flowers. And you may be like, what? That's what got him fired? But I just want you to look at this from my principal's perspective. Okay, imagine seeing Gollum on top of a table where students are eating with a flower in his ear as he talks about how these kids need to find the cure for cancer while smelling like he just got pissed out of a homeless person. And my principal saw this and was like, okay, we made a mistake. And so I had Mr. Brand right after lunch and I just remember him walking into class that day as he was escorted by like three security guards. And you know, Mr. Brand was just supposed to like get his stuff and leave the class, but Mr. Brand did something next that I will always respect him for. Mr. Brand went to the computer and changed every single kid's grade in the class to 200%. And the security guards were standing there and were like, it's time to go. Get your stuff 
and leave. And Mr. Brown was like, yeah, 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 just give me a second. Let me close out all my tabs and then I'll come. Now, unfortunately, the school did realize that every single kid in this class had a 200% and that did not last long. But Mr. Brown was still a goat for even trying, even though he smelled like piss and looked like an alien. And so after all of this, we ended up getting our regular English teacher back, even though she just gave birth like a week ago. And when she asked what Mr. Brand taught us, we all just looked at her and said, he taught us the cure for cancer, how to end world hunger, and how to help a struggling YouTuber. And she looked at us and was like, what the fuck are you guys talking about? This is an English class. Well, that's it for today's story, except Logan Paul. If you're watching this and you ever want to go to Japan and experience some of the Japanese culture, I'm your guy. But seriously though, thank you guys so much for 50k. I know I'm about to get destroyed in the comments. You betrayed me. You said you would do a face reveal. I hate you. Okay, don't get too worked up about it. It's coming, I swear. But if you did enjoy this video, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.